So good morning everyone. So you have just bought your new power meter and you want to know how to analyze um, your data to know you better, know um, to train smarter. And this is intervals.ecu. I really suggest this application to um, analyze your recycling acti activity. It's, uh, it's, I think it's really well made. And it's also free and uh, it's a, a community-based analyzer tool and uh, as i said it's really well made so you want to firstly you want to set your power and heart rate um ftp and threshold heart rate also but also max heart rate is going to define it's going to calculate your zones and this is really important to to each ride here you can connect your um, devices to sync all the activities. So we have landed on the main page. Um, it is the activity calendar. And if we tap into an activity, you can see all the metrics. One thing maybe you don't know is coasting time. Coasting time is the time you have spent without pedaling, without um, pro uh, with producing less than 10 watts. And you want to keep this value as low as possible because it's not training time is gonna make you also the uh, percentage of uh, costing time out of the total time here so as, as i said before you go, you want to make this as low as possible so here's uh, the load that it is gonna calculate your load based on um, heart rate and power those are the value that you're mostly gonna look at so First, we're gonna look at the average power. It's pretty easy to understand. It's just the average power you have um, you have done during your ride. And here above, you can see normalized watts. So, normalized watts uh, is taking count also of the fact that your power may not be um, steady. So, like, let's let's take an example. Um, if you um maybe you for an hour ride you average 150 watts you could be averaging the same watts by um, not pedaling for 30 minutes and therefore the other 30 minutes you do 300 watts but as you may know it's not the same uh regarding the intensity the effort on your body this is counting also this this fact that your power may not be steady um, so when you look at uh, your watts it's easier to look here not this one because it's much more valuable you know so here what we can see is uh, variability it is how much your heart rate has changed during your ride for example this was a zone to ride and I wanted to make to maintain my heart rate as steady as possible so it is a pretty low value uh, and you want to do it as well and this is a good indicator of uh, when you do like endurance miles you want to keep it as close as possible to one here is the ratio of power divided by heart rate and this i think is one of the best indicator of your aerobic fitness and it's really useful um, it, it is almost the same to um, uh, where is it to this one efficiency and it's better to look at this one because it is using the normalized watts other than um, the average watts you want to look at um, efficiency factor and as you as if you tap on every matrix it's gonna explain you uh, a bit of what it is and as we as I said before how aerobically fit you are then here another thing it's really useful is to know your work so um, as you may know power is uh, so what it is energy divided by time so as you may know what um, power is the amount of um, work so energy that is done that is done in a given time so if you want to know how much uh, work you have done, you just multiply your watts times the time. 
your average watts. So for example, I average it at 181 watts. If I multiply it by five hours and 15 minutes, and you wanna uh, do it in with seconds, so 5.25 because 15 minutes out of 60 is 25, 0 0.25 times 60 times 60 and it is gonna give you this number as you can see it's almost the same as a, and based on this um, you you maybe have noticed that your calories kilocalories it's almost the same to work and I'm gonna explain you this one so um, work is just the mechanical energy that you're putting in in your um, in your training and it's not counting the fact of that uh, our body is not using 100% of um, the energy com uh, converted from food to um, mechanical energy because, because it's wasting um, a lot of energy also in heat and uh, friction and uh, cycling, cycling is uh, uh, like 23-24% efficient we can use for, uh, for ease uh, 25 percent that is just multiplying by four to know um, the total energy uh, usage so we just multiply by four and um, it's gonna give us this number but um, calories is also um, the same matrix as work the, so there's a um, conversion factor that is uh, 4.186 so we must divide it by this number and as you can see uh, this um, this right here is almost cancelling out and um, and it's almost one so it's just like doing this and this is why it is almost the same number so if you tap on activity power it is gonna show you show us it is gonna show us our intensity distribution of the ride this is the maximum power output for any given um, time value and I think this is the, be the most interesting thing to look at so this is the power divided by high rate one thing we can look at is power decoupling so it is the amount of um, cardiac shift that you experience during a ride for example, this one, this one was a five hour ride, so it is pretty high. And as you can see, for, a, for any given uh, minute, it graphs uh, basically the, with, uh, with doing dots um, what was your ratio. And then this, this line is just the average of uh, those dots. As you can see, it is decreasing over time. And the, the difference uh, from the relative value to the absolute value it is the percentage of uh, your power decoupling and you want to keep this as low as possible and on like two hour rides maybe just um, can be uh, zero percent uh, but when you go um, above three hours it's gonna uh, increase a bit so mine was 5.5 percent here is the heart rate lag it is going to show you how much time um, it takes to your heart rate to reach your um, supply of oxygen and uh, also this one you want to keep it uh, really low because it is it is a sign that your um, heart is really reactive to this a stimulus and uh, then this is the same graph here but it's basically the ratio plotted here, here's the heart rate and then those are the watts for example for 200 watts on the first um, half, of the, half of the ride I was averaging 144 uh, beats per minute in the second half of the ride I was um, at 150 beats per minute so it, it was a 6 bit difference and uh, one thing that I didn't say before is you can ex exclude like the worm up here of from this calculation because maybe it's gonna screw up your um, your values as well as the cooldown but for example those two dots I'm not gonna count them and that's basically just the basics that 
uh, you may want to know to analyze a um, an activity and this is not really useful I mean it's almost the same it's, it's for I mean for endurance ride you want to look more at uh, your um, heart rate rather than power because it it is much more representative for, uh, of your effort for those zones but when you're um, doing threshold you you just can you can ignore um, the heart rate analysis uh, it's much more useful to use the power and so this is a basic overview of analysis of your ride and I hope you like the video and as every youtuber says please leave a like a comment below and subscribe to the channel and see you next time